Today I'm going to show you how I added these evacuated solar tubes to our hot tub. Uh, normally this hot tub has expensive electrical heating elements and those solar tubes go a long ways to providing most of the heat we need for this hot tub water. So this will be a short overview. There will be more details listed on the Mr. House link at BruceWinter.net. So I'm going to climb up this ladder here and show you tubes in a little more detail. Normally, if you are uh, heating a pool water, you can get away with simple black plastic uh, tubes, which are much less expensive. But in the case of a hot tub, the temperature difference between the water you're heating and the air is much too big for black plastic tubes. Those will act just as much as radiators, as collectors. Now these tubes are partial vacuum. They have a copper pipe going down the middle with uh, black uh, metal fins to collect the heat. And they have a gas in there that expands when heated and goes up to the top to this heat exchanger. Uh, exchanges heat with the water circulating through the pipes and then condenses and go back down, goes back down the tube. So you do need a little bit of an incline. I did tests at various inclines and found that this 15, 20 degree incline was enough to get most of the benefit. Uh, so the trick to this is to know when to turn your tubes on and off. So we have uh, our Arduino box that I'll show you in a minute that makes those decisions and controls a pump. It's hidden down here where the filter, water filter is. You can't see it, but you can probably hear it. It's way down there. Also in this box are two temperature sensors. These are uh, simple $10 one wire sensors. There's one that measures the pool water, the tub water, and there's another one here that measures the return water from the um, solar tubes. So this is the pumps pushing water up here, comes back down here, and you can see it coming up the pipe here. It's not a very high flow water system, but it doesn't need to be. And we don't find we don't have to run the filter system at all, except when we're using the hot tub. Apparently that's enough to keep the water circulating. So the one thing I would do differently is I use regular PVC piping. Uh, and I would use the uh, hot water PVC piping next time because you can see the PVC piping uh, uh, bends a little when it gets, it gets too hot. Hasn't leaked yet. But. So the Arduino is down in this little box here along with a power supply for the pump. And in here you can see the Arduino Union card. It's about $70 and a um, shield that allows me to easily connect the pump and temperature sensors. So all together it's $70 for the UN card, another $20 for the sensors to know the pump. Uh, the tubes cost uh, $500 plus um, $200 shipping, so it's roughly $1,000 total. Uh, equivalent electrical PVC system, uh, assuming $2 a watt would be Oh, and those tubes are about 60 watts a piece, equivalent energy. And uh, if you were to do this with an electrical collector, uh, you'd roughly be $2,000. So cost savings is about half. And quite a bit simpler system. And plus you get the benefits of circulated water throughout the day without having to run. We just leave the pool in standby mode all the time, except when we're using it. It's not a pool, it's a hot tub. So if you want any more uh, technical details, uh, visit the link below. Until next time.